Hey guys! I just got a lot of blood work done. Um, after a transplant, you get blood work done pretty frequently, partially because there's a lot of things that can go wrong or be off kilter um, in your body after transplant, so they need to, you know, just kind of check you out on a regular basis and make sure everything is still okay, but also because they have to make sure that your rejection medication is in like the right zone and that it's you know you're taking the right dosage of it and we've been having some issues with that with me it keeps being a little too high or a little too low and then they adjust my dose and then it goes the other way and we have to adjust it back so i've been getting i've never gotten blood work less than once a month since transplant and usually it's more every week or every other week so lots of blood work and today was extra special because i was also due for my three month diabetes checkup blood work so that was a little bit more and the part that's super exciting is that i just got tested for covid antibodies we don't know yet if my COVID vaccine actually worked because I'm on anti-rejection medication, which suppresses the immune response, which is how vaccines work. So I just got the antibody testing. So we're gonna see whether or not I produced any COVID antibodies. I am not hopeful because the preliminary tests that I've seen so far, like studies and stuff like that, um, transplant solid organ transplant recipients have not done great with producing antibodies in response to the COVID vaccine so I'm pretty much expecting to not have antibodies or to have a low level of antibodies but maybe I'll be surprised and maybe it went well I'll be happy with any antibodies something is better than nothing and I'm expecting nothing so something would be terrific I'm not sure how long it takes to get the results back I hope not long because I really would like to know the answer to that and we also got I think another antibody paddle which is more standard for transplant recipients that for donor antibodies because that's something you know that can happen and a sign of rejection um, if you start producing donor antibodies after transplant. So I'm not sure if we're getting that because I am almost up to my lung anniversary. My second lung anniversary will be in May. So I think that's a test that I'm supposed to get once a year. So I don't know if we're doing that because I'm just due for it or if it's possible that, you know, the COVID vaccine could cause a donor antibody response and that that's why they wanted to do it. But either way, got it done. So I just had nine tubes of blood taken out of me. So that was a lot, but it's for a good cause, right? All right, I got notification that my COVID antibody test results are in and I thought it might be fun to open them with you guys and we can all be surprised together. I'm really have low expectations here. I'm really expecting it to say that I don't have antibodies, but maybe I'll be surprised. And I guess there is, even though I'm not expecting good results, there is still the part of me that's hoping for good results and hoping that the vaccine did do something for me and that I do have antibodies. So. Even though I have low expectations, I think I'm still going to be disappointed if I don't have antibodies. So here's hoping. Let's head into my patient portal online and see what we've got. All right, so here's my patient portal. I love the patient portal, by the way. The fact that I can just access all my medical information online, easy, quick. Great, great thing. Love it. All right, here it is. Let's see what we got. Uh, okay, now I'm trying to understand what this is saying. <laughs> That's always the problem with getting medical results. But that looks like a really low number. Okay, my value 0 0.004 and negative is anything under 0 0.250. So... I believe, and then this number also looks low. It says it's 0 0.023 and negative is anything under 0.3. So it looks like my numbers are 
very low and like officially negative for COVID antibodies. Um, yeah, I think interpretation negative for IgA and IgG antibodies to SARS COVID 2. So, so yeah, that is what I expected. Um, but it's still disappointing. That's still not really what I wanted. Okay. Blah, 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 medical stuff, blah, blah, blah. There we go. So that's the verdict. The vaccine did not, in fact, work on me, which is not surprising. Um, that's what I did see in some previous studies on people who are, you know, have organ transplants and are on rejection medications. Um, and also studies with other vaccines. When you get a transplant, they actually check all your vaccines and make sure you're up to date on everything because after transplant, you can try to get vaccines, but they might not work on you. So this is a known issue with being on anti-rejection meds, that it messes up vaccines. It's just that until now, we weren't in a global pandemic. So the whole vaccine situation wasn't quite the same level of like critical immediate need that it is now, but oh well. So I guess that means I'm just gonna continue doing what I've been doing. Um, I have to act as if I'm not vaccinated because in essence, I'm not. I'm not vaccinated and I can't be vaccinated. The vaccine is not going to work on me. So I need to continue hunkering down, being super careful, super safe, and wait for everybody else to get the vaccine and for COVID to become less prevalent in the population. And when that happens, then it'll be safe for me to come out of my cave and rejoin life. So everybody, please go get your vaccine because you getting the vaccine not only protects you, but it protects people like me. There's lots of us out there and people like me are kind of helpless right now. I can't do anything else to protect myself other than stay home and, you know, be careful with precautions. But aside from that, there's nothing I can do to protect myself from this disease. Whereas you have the option, you can go out and get a vaccine and not only protect yourself from COVID, but you can protect the other people out there like me who don't have any options and are really stuck and are really dependent on all of the rest of you. So please, 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 if you have it available to you and if it's, you know, obviously if it's medically safe for you and if it's something that your doctor, doctor recommends, please go get your vaccine. I would really appreciate it because aside from the fact that I don't wanna die, been there, almost did that, don't wanna do it again, but I got my transplant in May of 2019. So COVID hit, you know, in the beginning of 2020. I wasn't even a year out of transplant when COVID hit. And I had already been on lockdown. I've been on some degree of lockdown since transplant because I always have to be cautious of germs for the rest of my life. But I got extra locked down during cold and flu season because cold and flu season is super dangerous and could seriously kill me every year. So as soon as cold and flu season hit in 2019, I really shut everything down and was basically living kind of similar to COVID restrictions because I really, you know, was still in the first year. It's a high risk time for transplant and I really needed to be very careful. But I was super looking forward to spring last year because I was tired of being locked down and I was going to be one year post transplant and I was feeling pretty good and I was ready to kind of like go out and live life and like, you know, just take advantage of having this new opportunity and new lease on life and then COVID hit <laughs> and then there were no opportunities to be had. So I've basically been on varying degrees of lockdown for a couple years now because there's the actual COVID lockdown. Then there was my first year after transplant lockdown. And then before transplant, I was super sick and I couldn't do anything. So I'm like itching and raring to go to like get out and experience the world and like enjoy life. And I'm just trapped right now. So I really need all of you to get your vaccines because I need this disease to get under control so I can finally, for the first time, get out 
and like make the most out of having new lungs and being able to do all these things that I haven't been able to do for years. So hopefully things will get back under control soon and I will get that chance to get out there and, you know, grab hold of life and make the most out of it. All right, that's the story around here. Um, not really the best update, not the update that I wanted, but you know, what can you do? And my doctor does think that aside from antibodies, that the vaccine does promote some other immune responses. So hopefully I have at least a little bit of protection, even though probably not very much. All right, that's what's going on around here. See you guys next time.